Hans interaction scene that comes with the Mixed Reality Toolkit and the test physics demos and stuff like that. I'm recording this on my patio because I have nowhere else to put it. So the physics demo is pretty cool. So you have the piano and to show you what the collision physics look like. I guess this one just presses. Oh no, you can see that it actually has pressure. I'm guessing that there's some code that's like snapping it in place, but it's actually not bad. For some reason, it's not actually colliding with these other ones. Maybe that was intentional. I don't know. That's a, that seems like a weird design choice for a demo. But you can see that this is. The collision physics are pretty good. I'm not sure what the reprojection error will look like. But you can at least see the mesh interacting with the other mesh. And it shows you other buttons, but I only care about the physics demos. Um, this is showing you grabbing, which is uh, not super useful for knowing how the physics works, but it shows you how interaction works, which is much, much easier than the HoloLens one. And you can kind of scale things with these corners. You can rotate things by grabbing this corner and doing this. You can grab the middle and move it around. Uh, pan and zoom interaction. Oh yeah, so to scroll, you do this. I don't know how to pan, actually. Maybe there is no panning. I don't know. This them, I'm trying to show physics demo, so I don't care that much. Um, so the sliders work pretty well. You can see the hand is pretty static. I'm trying to stay away from the object that I'm interact interacting with, so uh, the reprojection error ends up not being too bad. I don't actually know what this is doing. I like the shading. Um, HoloLens 1 demos never really had the shadow, so it was actually really hard to tell how far something was from something else. Um, let's look at these demos. Oh man, I thought you could do something more than just pick them up. I thought you could actually like move them around. It seems like that keyboard is the only... Oh. Well, that keyboard's the only thing that actually has like physics stuff. Inner core, outer core. I don't know what to do with this except look at it. But I mean, physics are always nice. But anyway, uh, I would rather stick with the physics demos because those are going to be more interesting. The field of view is good enough that I can see my hands when they're... I can see my thumbs and not the rest of my hand right here. With the HoloLens one, I would probably only be able to see them back over here. Apart from that snapping, which I like when the key suddenly jumps downwards, I'm pretty sure that's not caused by the hand tracking, but just the way that the keys were programmed. See that? It seems to just be like they didn't preserve momentum correctly or something. Oh, well, that's what this is doing. Okay. I don't know what else. I mean, I can't really do anything else because there are no other physics demos. So hopefully this gives you some idea of the interactions that you can do here. There's a recording option. I don't know what that does. I'm already recording. Launch Edge Browser. I guess I can show the keyboard. So here's a box where I can type. I think I've showed this keyboard demo before, but it works pretty well. It's way faster than doing that click and snap thing in the HoloLens 1. You can see it came out well. You can hold the button down. And even though I can't see my hand, it's still interacting with the keyboard. 